Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this morning. Um, if you have invited anyone, just make sure you send them this link for um, our prayer call today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, the scripture that the Holy Spirit put on my heart this morning was um, 2 Chronicles 20, 15 through 23. And I think I mentioned it before because it was a situation where King Jehoshaphat was um, in a position where he had a lot of different um, tribes or groups coming to attack him. And, um, you know, the people, you know, it looked like a lot. And so, um, you know, of course, he went and prayed, which is really which was really amazing about the story because you know not many kings in that day were honoring God and it says um let's see I'll start at verse 14 it says in the middle of the congregation the spirit of the Lord came on Jehaziel the son of Zechariah son of Beniah son of Jael son of Mataniah a Levite from Asaph's descendants. And just a heads up, um, the, Levi the Levites were considered the priest tribe um, of the Israelites. So Jehaziel um, is, a lineage, is from the lineage of the Levites. And it says, he said, listen carefully, all Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast number, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow go down against them. You will see them coming up the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the valley facing the wilderness of Jeruel. You do not have to fight this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. He is with you. So I'm going to read that again. You do not have to fight this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. He is with you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Tomorrow go out to face them, for the Lord is with you. Then Jehoshaphat knelt low with his face to the ground and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord to worship them. Then the Levites from the sons of the Kohatites and the Koratites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel shouting loudly. Now mind you, they're shouting loudly and praising the Lord after they've received the word from the Lord, but it has not come into fruition yet. Then it goes on on verse 20. It says, in the, in the morning, they got up early and went out to the wilderness of Tekoa. As they were about to go out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. Then he consulted with the people and appointed some to sing for the Lord, and some to praise the splendor of his holiness. When they went out in front of the armed forces, they kept singing, Give thanks to the Lord, for his faithful love endures forever. The moment they began their shouts and praises, the Lord set in ambush against the Ammonites, Moabites, and the inhabitants of Mount Sire, who came to fight against Judah, and they were defeated. The Ammonites and Moabites turned against the inhabitants of Mount Seir and completely annihilated them. When they had finished with the inhabitants of, of Seir, they helped destroy each other. And so the significance of the scripture is first the emphasis on praising and thanking God before the before you know you've seen what he's promised coming to fruition. But praising and thanking God for it. And I want us to focus on thanksgiving and praise today. Because we have all had, it felt like a very long week. It felt challenging for many. Whether it was a challenge physically, uh, mentally, um, emotionally, whatever the case may be. 
It felt like a challenge this week as we were coming together and fasting together. But one thing we have to remember, just like in verse 17, where it says you do not have to fight the battle. We have to position ourselves. We stand still and we see the salvation of the Lord for he is with us. And then upon knowing this, mind you, the word of God tells us this all the time that, you know, God has never left us nor forsaken us. So it's it's like hearing that promise, we should position ourselves now to just give him thanks for what's coming because the reality is is that God is faithful and he is true to his word and he is not one who will lie that is one thing that we can definitely for sure say without a doubt God is faithful his love endures forever and his promises will not fail and so uh, with that another scripture I want to highlight is Psalm 100 where it says make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth serve the Lord with gladness come into his presence with singing know that the Lord he is God it is he who made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him bless his name for the Lord is good his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations And so today, I just really want us to hone in to thanksgiving and praising God in advance for everything that he has promised, everything that he said he would do, every battle he has fought, every breakthrough that you have gotten, everything that, everything that you put on the, that you put into petition this past week, whether it's for yourself or whether it's for other people today just thank God for it coming into fruition. Um, we sometimes can get distracted by so many other things that we don't ever take the time to just thank him. Um, even when we're in these positions where it feels like, Lord, I feel like I got this blessing, but this challenge has come in. Well, go ahead and just thank God that he has already gone before you and he has handled the situation. He has given you victory in the situation. As long as you have brought it before him and you have made your request known to him and that request is according to his will, God is faithful and he will bring it to fruition. So today we are going to focus on just thanksgiving and praise. And so um, I know this is a prayer... This Friday prayer is a mix of people. This is, um, there, a group of us have been fasting and praying. And so one thing we're going to be incorporating on our Friday prayers is, um, praying in the spirit. Now, some people may not know what that is. Um, that is your heavenly tongue, your heavenly language that is given to you through the Holy Spirit. It is not something that's just concocted by somebody. It is not something that you just make up in your head. But it's something that is a gift that is given through the Holy Spirit. As a reminder, no, it does not make does not determine if you are saved or not. So if you do not have your heavenly language yet, that does not mean you're not saved. That does not mean you're less of a believer and follower of Christ. That just means you haven't received it yet. Is it available to receive? You have to seek our Heavenly Father for that because he is the one who gives us the gift. And so what we're going to do is spend some time praying in the spirit for about um, 10 minutes. And just like um, I've been doing with my other group, you know, just come off of mute for about 10 minutes and just pray in the spirit. And then we'll go into um, prayer. But as you're praying the spirit in your mind, just whatever the Holy Spirit begins to bring to your mind, if you have a notepad next to you, Um, If you're on your phone, just jot some notes now. Whatever the Holy Spirit is allowing to come to the forefront of your mind, make a note of it. And once again, you can come off mute um, for prayer. So, (laughs) 
Boca de do coche queria do coche queria de de colo do coche que queria do coche queria de de boca de do coche queria de coche que queria do coche colo do coche queria de de boca de do coche queria do coche queria de de coche queria de de coche queria do colo do coche boca de do coche queria de de coche queria de de coche queria do colo do coche queria de de boca de do coche queria de de coche queria de de coche queria de de colo do coche queria de de coche queria de de boca de do coche queria de de colo do coche Kerja <laughs> Boka de de koshe kerja de de kolo koshe kerja de de kolo de koshe kerja de de kolo de koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo de koshe heke de de koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de kolo de koshe kerja de de kolo koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo de koshe kerja de koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de kolo de koshe kerja Kerja dede koshe kerja dede kolo koshe kerja dede ikan dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede ikan dede koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede kolo kolo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede kolo koshe kerja dede kolo kolo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede kolo kolo koshe kerja dede kolo kolo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede ikan dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe Koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Ekono do koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Ekono do koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe heke dede, koshe heke dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Ekono do koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Eke dede koshe heke dede, koshe heke dede, kolo koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe kerja dede. Dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja 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 dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede kolo lo koshe kerja dede kolo lo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede kolo lo koshe kerja dede kolo lo koshe kerja dede koshe kolo lo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja dede kolo lo koshe kerja dede boka dede koshe kerja dede koshe kerja Kerja <laughs> Boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo koshe kerja de de ekolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de ekolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de ekolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de boka de de koshe kerja de de koshe kerja de de kolo lo koshe kerja de de ekolo lo koshe kerja de de 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 boka de de koshe kerja Kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Ikan dede koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, kono dede kono dede koshe kerja dede, kono koshe kerja dede. Boka dede koshe kerja dede, koshe kerja dede, kono dede koshe kerja dede. 
Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the freedom and deliverance that has been afforded to us, Lord God. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come before you, Lord, declaring and decreeing, Lord, that every mental blockage that is fo- that has been formed through legalism and religion is broken right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you have given us a clear, sound mind, Lord God, a mind that is free from the chains of man, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I just ask that you will forgive us, Heavenly Father, for allowing ourselves to listen so hardly on the views, on the views of people, but neglecting to get in the word and reading the word for ourselves, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I pray that you forgive us, Lord, for walking with the spirit of suspicion, Heavenly Father, and Lord God, throwing stones at other believers consistently, Lord God, without having true conviction from the Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. Father God, I pray that you forgive us in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for not seeking you out first, Lord God, in regards to, um, the next moves that we need to make in our lives, Heavenly Father, Lord God, and not seeking you out to um to take before our, to take our concerns to you, Heavenly Father, rather than going to people to validate um our thoughts, Heavenly Father. Father God, we just ask for forgiveness, Heavenly Father, for not allowing you to be made first in our lives, Heavenly Father, for allowing you to be the priority in, of every aspect of our life, Heavenly Father, and for seeking you first in all things, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you forgive us, Heavenly Father, for the times that we have doubted, Lord God. In fact, Lord God, I just cast out that spirit of unbelief right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And I declare and decree, Lord God, that you will help us believe, Lord God, whatever areas that we are questioning and doubting, Lord God, we release that right now in the name of Jesus. And we just call upon you, Heavenly Father, that the Holy Ghost will fill us with a greater level of faith, Lord God, that we will not, ba- that we will not struggle in our faith because we are doubting things, Lord God. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are faithful, Lord. And Lord, I just call upon you, Lord, that you would bring us into remembrance of your word and increase our faith, Lord God. Because by reading your word and seeing the and seeing who you are, Lord God, that is where our faith is strengthened, Lord God. Our faith is strengthened by hearing your word, Heavenly Father, by hearing what you have done before, by hearing who you are, by hearing about your love, your nature, your character, your will and your heart for us, Heavenly Father. So, Lord God, I ask that you will forgive us, Lord God. We repent in the name of Jesus for the times that we neglected reading your word, listening to your word, meditating on your word, and not obeying your word, Heavenly Father. Lord God, fill us with the hunger and desire to seek your word out at all times, Heavenly Father. Help us to not forsake your word, Lord God. You have never left nor forsaken us, Heavenly Father, Lord God. So, why do we, why do we forsake your word, Heavenly Heavenly Father, when times get hard, Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, help us to not be double-minded in our walk with you, Lord God. Help us not to seek you out for things we want, but not seek you for what we need, Lord God. Help us to not walk in disobedience, Heavenly Father, and not want to go and, and go before you and repent, but yet go and draw out just the good things and the blessings of your word, Heavenly Father. Lord God, we repent and we renounce that mindset in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and we ask, Heavenly Father, Father, that you would reap, that you would fill our minds, Lord God, with another level of commitment, Lord God. Even today, Lord, if there is anybody on the call who needs to recommit their life to you, Heavenly Father, Lord God, I pray that you would unction them even now, Heavenly Father, to recommit their lives to you, to recommit to believing that you are the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you died for our sins and that you rose again, that we may have life and that we may, that we may walk in your salvation, Heavenly Father. Father. And Lord God, those of us who are on the call, who are saved, Lord God, who have not been walking diligently on your behalf, who have not been 
allowing ourselves to be discipled by those you appointed to us and though and who have not been allowing ourselves to be obedient and do what you have asked us to do father forgive us right now in the name of jesus lord god and we ask lord god that you would continuously help us to move forward lord god we just break that stagnation right now in the name of jesus lord god we break that spirit of delay right now in the name of jesus lord god and we declare and decree that you will move expeditiously that you will move and you will be, move at an accelerated pace that there will no longer be this delay that there would no longer be this questioning that there would be no longer be this doubt that hinders you from moving forward that you will no longer question every single person that the lord sends your way Holy Spirit, forgive us for grieving you. Holy Spirit, forgive us for denying your ability to operate through certain people because they don't look a certain way or they don't sound a certain way or because the way that they speak doesn't sound like what you've heard before. Father God, we repent, Lord God, for being judgmental, self-righteous in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we declare and decree that we walk in humility, Lord God, that we will not judge people based off of how they look, Lord God, but Lord, we we would judge according to your your word according to the righteousness of, of the holy spirit lord god so heavenly father lord we just thank you lord that you have given us so much more breakthrough than what we what we often recognize lord god yes we pray for so many tangible things in this season lord god but what we really need to just thank you for lord is having the ability to come before you and repent to be able to receive your grace and mercy to be able to see those grace and mercy those new grace and mercies every single day lord god to walk in the abundance of your goodness lord god we thank you heavenly father that we have a voice to use heavenly father we thank you that you have already downloaded words for us to speak to people that we interact with even today lord god we thank you for the families that you positioned us in lord god because you have positioned us as the voice as the voices and the messages for you lord god the messengers for you lord god we thank you lord god for the for your faithfulness we thank you that you are true to your word we thank you that we can trust and believe that the petitions that we bring before you that are that are made according to your will will come into fruition lord god we thank you lord that we have peace in you we thank you that we have rest in you we thank you for the contentment that we get that we have in you lord god we thank you that we're able to take these bold faith moves heavenly father because we know that you are with us heavenly father we thank you for the courage and the boldness that you've given us lord god to speak your word lord god and to not draw back from it lord god and father god i pray against that spirit of confusion lord god i pray against the demonic spirit that is that is misconstruing your word when people are studying and reading it out of a heart out of a negative spirit father god i pray that you will remind us that before we even read your word we need to pray that there is a purification of our heart that there is a purging of our heart so that way when we're reading that if our heart is tainted well then we will process every single word of the every single word that you have in your bible lord we will process that in a tainted view so heavenly father lord god i just pray that we would not read your word with a personal agenda lord god that is outside of your will that we would not read your word with a personal agenda to try to attack other people or prove other people wrong or justify our own feelings lord god that we will read your word with the number one purpose of knowing you lord god because in knowing you that is when we know your will and that is how you teach us who we are and how we should function according to your will lord god and lord i pray that we are quickly convicted through the holy spirit lord god i pray that every line is made clear between us and the holy spirit lord and i pray that we will be we will be intentional about ensuring that we are truly the sheep of christ because if we are the sheep we will hear the voice of jesus christ heavenly father so lord god i just pray that you would Help us to renew our mind, Lord God, through listening to your word, Lord God. And I thank you that you are purging our hearts, Lord God. I thank you for the purity. I thank you for the cleansing, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you are filling us with your love, Lord Heavenly Father. I thank you that you are removing every bit of fear that is is lingering within the hearts and minds of people on this call, Lord God. Because your perfect love casts out fear, Heavenly Father. And I thank you, Lord God, for 
the power of a sound mind, Lord God, that you've given us, Heavenly Father. I cancel every demonic spirit that has been torturing and been, been tormenting people in their sleep been tormenting people in their visions, in their dreams. We cancel and rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask that your Holy Spirit fire will come and remove every bit of residue that has lingered from that Heavenly Father. Every bit of resentment, every bit of fear, every bit of bitterness, Heavenly Father. We cancel it and remove it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Father God, I just ask that you would continue to just speak to every person who is on this prayer call right now, Lord God. That you would fill them with a reignited fire, Lord God, that you would fill them with the reignited desire to serve and love you wholeheartedly, Lord God, despite what they've heard, Lord God. And Father God, I pray that um, you would allow those who have been holding on to things of the past or certain habits, Lord God. Lord, you are trying to stretch us. You are trying to take us to a new level. You are trying to awaken other giftings in us, Lord God. But some of us have been holding on so tightly to what we grew up knowing. And so we become acclimated to that. And we've allowed certain gifts and habits and talents to become our identity, Lord God. And so we just cancel that right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we would know we are not our job. We are not what we do. We are who you designed us to be. And first, we are your children, Heavenly Father. So, Lord God, if anybody has been boxing themselves in as saying, oh, well, I'm only the, the church girl, or I'm only this, or I'm only the doctor, I'm only the teacher, I'm only the musician. Father God, we cancel that mindset in the name of Jesus, Lord God, because you are awakening greater levels of insight through, through us, Heavenly Father. You desire for us to be multifaceted, Heavenly Heavenly Father, so that you can utilize us in different ways, because there are so many people that you did choose to do certain tasks in the body of Christ, but they failed to commit and surrender, Lord God. So because you could not use them, Lord, you have multiplied the giftings within so many people, Lord God. Many are on this call who have been given additional additional assignments because somebody else failed to commit to you and, and be obedient. So Heavenly Father, help us not make the same mistake. Help us to not disobey you, Lord God, out of our comfort. Help us to not disobey you because of what people told us who we are. Father God, help us to See through your eyes. Help us to believe bigger than what we see in the natural, Lord God. In fact, Lord God, let our spiritual eyes be greater than what we see in the natural, Heavenly Father. That we would see beyond what is happening right now. And we would recognize the call that you have placed upon us, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I decree and declare that there is awakening, Lord God, of purpose. That there is a reawakening of calling. That there is a reignitement of the assignments that you have given, Lord God. And Father God, I just ask that you will forgive us, Lord, for the times that we neglected the assignments or mishandled the gifts and talents that you gave us, Lord God. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will strengthen us right now, Lord God despite not having all the answers, Lord God, that we would immediately go forth and do what you have called us to do in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Lord, even now, despite the battles that will come, because the weapons will be formed, they will come, Lord God. But they, but you promise they will not prosper. And the way that they don't prosper is because we depend and trust on you, Lord God. And because you give us insight, you give us special insight that teaches us how to cancel the attacks of the enemy before they even come, Lord God. So I thank you, Lord God, that you have already begun to go before us and make every crooked path straight. I thank you that you are canceling and have blocked every plot and scheme of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that there is no backlash, Heavenly Father, because you have already dispatched angels, Lord God, to make way for us, Heavenly Father, because we have chosen to renew our yes on this time right now in the name of Jesus. We are renewing our yes, Heavenly Father, and we are declaring amen, Heavenly Father, because we know that it will be done in your in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. So Heavenly Father, Lord, we just ask that you would continue, Lord, to um, just create more opportunities, Lord, for us to 
just thank you, to praise you, to be a light on your behalf, Heavenly Father. Help us to remember that everything we do, everything we say, Heavenly Father, is a representation of you, Lord God. And Father, help us to not fall into the the trends of the world, Heavenly Father. Help us to not get caught up in the feminist movement, Lord God. Help us to not get caught up in the poli- the politics, Heavenly Father. Help us to not get caught up in the cliques of um, denominations, Heavenly Father. Help us to not get caught up in... Um, in the judgmental mindsets that comes from the spirit of legalism, Lord God, like the Pharisees had and the Sadducees had, Lord God. Father God, we just ask that you would block us from that, Lord. And if we have been dealing with it, I declare and decree is broken right now in the name of Jesus, that we are walking in the freedom that you have given, Lord God. So Lord God, I just thank you, Lord, for just renewing our hearts and our minds. I thank you that we have a renewed yes to you, Lord God. I thank you that we are walking boldly. I thank you that even now that people will begin journaling, they will begin writing, they will begin declaring and decree and remembering the promise that you have given us, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we surrender our will to you, Lord God. Father God, we surrender every will we have to you, Lord God. We ask that you bring into submission to what you desire for us, Lord, because what you desire is good. Why? Because you are a good father. You know where you have designed us. You know who you created us to be. You know where you need us to be. And we will not forsake that, Lord. We want to leave this earth fully complete, Lord God, and having done everything that you have planned for us, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, for anybody who is dealing with sickness or if you have family members who have been dealing with sickness, we just declare and decree that they will live and they will not die and they will declare the works of the Lord. In fact, right now in the name of Jesus, I declare that every single dead thing in our life, it doesn't even have to be a physical person. Um, every single dead thing or that the enemy has labeled as dead, not that we that is actually dead but that the enemy has labeled as dead will not die but will live and declare the word of the lord we know we serve a god who can turn situations we know situations that appear to be dead we know the lord can bring can revive it and bring it back to life so heavenly father lord we just thank you for those dreams that we that we buried lord god those visions that we buried lord god the every single thing that we buried because we felt like we couldn't get it done or we felt like it wasn't going to happen heavenly father we just we give you the opportunity to breathe life into it heavenly father to reignite it lord and revive it in the name of jesus lord god and we just thank you lord that you love us so much that you give us second third fourth fifth chances lord god to to come in to come and restore the things that you asked us to restore, Lord God. And I pray for those, Lord God, who you have called to be restorers, to be rebuilders, Lord God, to go and create on your behalf, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just bring a a special anointing upon them, Heavenly Father, that you would send the resources, Lord. You would send the people, Heavenly Father. You would send the vision, the strategy, a very clear strategy, Heavenly Father, and that you will help us to be wise with who we speak with heavenly father understanding that as we're just like when nehemiah was building the um t- building the wall um uh, for Je- for jerusalem heavenly father lord help us not to speak too prematurely help us to stay focused help us to not get caught up in trying to tell everybody everything lord god but in the name of jesus we will be focused we will remain in alignment with you holy spirit and we will speak to those who you have sent to partner with us lord god father god help us to not block out our helpers lord god Lord God, we even do it to the Holy Spirit so many times. So many times we have ignored the Holy Spirit when he has spoken something to us. Lord, we forgive us for doing that, Lord, and we repent. And I ask, Lord God, that you would clear out our ear gates, Lord God, and our eye gates, Lord, that we would hear clearly and we would see clearly the people that you have sent as destiny partners in this season, Lord God, people who will walk with us, people who will build us, people who will draw us closer to you, people who will help us in our in the visions and the assignments that you've given us and help us to remember that we were never made 
made to do everything alone. So, Lord God, for those of us who have been sitting silent, who have been um, closed in, who have been very paranoid. Yeah, Lord, we cancel that spirit of paranoia right now in the name of Jesus to the point where we don't trust anybody because we just think everybody is out to get us. Lord God, that is not the desire of your heart for us to live a life where we are always walking in fear. And we try to say that is us being cautious and stuff. But Lord, we know the truth is that is that is rooted in fear because you desire for us to function in community, Heavenly Father. I just think of Jesus every time he went out, he put himself in the position to be hurt. Every time he went out, Lord God, and Lord, we just recognize that there are risks that we take as your children, but because we trust you, because we know you, because we know there's a hedge of protection around us, Lord God, that we do not have to fear every single person that we interact with. We do not have to fear every place we go to. Lord God, yes, there are some places and people that you do not need to talk to, but you will tell us in advance that is a hard no. But Lord God, help. we can not be suspicious and paranoid about people because we are missing our blessings out of our own fleshly discomfort. So Lord God, help us to get over that right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and help us to be intentional about asking you about every person we meet, asking you about every opportunity that has come before us, and then actually pausing and praying and allowing you to give us an answer with a clear heart and a clear mind. But Lord, let us not be anxious when we are doing things, Lord God, because anytime we feel fear or we fear or we feel a sense of, um, discontentment. We need to take it to you, Heavenly Father, to make sure that that feeling is from you and it's not from our flesh or it's not being placed upon us through the enemy, Lord God. Heavenly Father, I just thank you that you are moving and we just praise you, Lord. We thank you that despite the battles, despite the stones that the enemy has thrown towards us, despite the number of conflict and challenges that have been set before us, Lord, you have asked us to just be still and to be in your presence and to trust you, Heavenly Father. You have asked us to truly submit and surrender and to believe who you said you are. You are faithful, Lord God. You have a steadfast love for us. You are good, Lord God. So on this day, I pray that we spend time in your word remembering who you said you are, Lord God. That we would not question your identity based upon what we've been through. We would not question your identity based upon what we've seen in someone else's life. We would not question your identity based upon what our parents told us or what our churches told us. But we would not, but we would we would depend on what you said and who you said you are. That we will intentionally go in the scripture today looking for opportunities where you dis, where you state who you are. For instance, when you told Moses, I I am who I am. You are I am, Heavenly Father. Lord God, when you have been Jehovah Jireh, Lord God, you are Jehovah Jireh. You showed that in your word. You are Jehovah Nisi. Lord God, you shown that in your word. You are Jehovah Sitkanu. You have shown that in your word, Lord God. So help us, Heavenly Father, to declare who you say you are, Lord, and help us to not doubt it, Lord God, because your word is true. Your word is true, Lord God. Father God, I just have to say that again. Your word is true, Lord, because there are so many people who spend so much time trying to dis- trying to find trying to find falseness in your word, Lord God, but you've already told us in 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17, Lord God, that that all scripture is inspired by you, Heavenly Father. So your word is true. The enemy has been trying to make us question the word of God. And we know if he does that, then we won't truly believe the word and we can't truly walk by it and we can't experience the blessings of it. We cannot hear from something that we doubt. So Heavenly Father, help us to not read the word with the agenda of trying to prove it wrong. Heavenly Father, when we have questions, Lord God, help us to take it to you, to ask for revelation, to ask for clarity and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us into 
understand thee, Lord God. But Lord, help us to never get to that point where we are saying the word of God is not true. Now, people's interpretations may be wrong, but your word stands and it is true, Lord God. So we thank you in the name of Jesus for giving us your truth. We thank you for giving us your word. We thank you for giving us you, Lord God. We thank you for giving us your heart and your, um, we thank you for giving us your, um, your spirit, Lord God. We thank you for giving us your will, Lord God. We thank you for entrusting us with your gifts. These are your gifts, Lord God. For those who are parents on the call, Lord, we thank you for giving for giving us children, for stewarding, for giving us the opportunity to steward the lives of those children, Lord God. Heavenly Father, for those of us who you've given us businesses, we thank you for giving us businesses, Lord God. For those who received ideas, we thank you for the ideas you've given us. For those of us who have jobs, we thank you for the jobs you've given us. We thank you that you trust us to be in those positions, to be a light on your behalf to be able to connect with certain people, Lord God. For those who have husbands, Lord God, we thank you for um, giving us those spouses, Lord God, for the next assignments in our lives, Heavenly Father. Lord God, for those of us who are single, Lord, we thank you for giving us that season, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for every single position you've given us, Lord God. We thank you for equipping us with the ability to thrive in every single every single season, every single assignment, every single location, Lord God, we thank you, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, we will not complain, Lord Jesus. We will not complain. You were too good for us to complain. You protected us too much for us to complain, Lord God. Yes, I know challenges come up. Yes, I know things are hard. But Father God, if when we are struggling, we're going to take it to you first, Lord God. And we're going to we're gonna bring our petitions to you. We're going to bring our concerns to you. We're going to pour out our heart to you, Heavenly Father, because Lord, you are the one who can do something about it, Lord God. And Lord, if you the if you have positioned us around a, a, a body of believers, Lord God, we will be transparent and authentic with them, but we will not block the word that you send through them, Lord God, because we recognize that you speak through so many um, people who are walking with you, Lord God. So once again, Lord, help us to not reject the messages that you are sending through your children, Lord God. There are people that you are sending to help um, to help speak life into us because some of us have been functioning in isolation. Some of us have been functioning in silos and closed in. But Heavenly Father, you are saying it's time to come out. It is time to be in community. It's time to love people and to allow them to love us. It is time to not no longer be fearful or suspicious. It is time to no longer hide our spiritual, spiritual relationship with you, Lord God. It is time for us to be made available to be a vessel for you you, Lord God. So right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for the reminders. I thank you for the strength that you're giving us. I thank you for the freedom that you've given us. I thank you for the reigniting our fire, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for the bondage breaking, Lord God. I thank you that the chains are broken. And I thank you for the promises that you're reminding us of right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And I just declare the decree that today, Lord God, we will stand and we will just thank you and honor you for your word and that we will thank you for your promises lord god and that we will not allow ourselves to get caught up in the in the tangible things lord god and father god that we will remember we have a direct connection to you lord god that we will not ever idolize the voice of any person even my voice lord god i pray that it Although I'm grateful for everybody on the call, Heavenly Father, I do recognize, Heavenly Father, that I am just currently speaking on your behalf, but ultimately the goal is for everyone to go back to you, Heavenly Father, and to seek you directly, Lord God, because gone are the days where we have to confess things to people, Lord God. Gone are the days where we have to go through a priest to speak to you, Lord God. That veil was torn when Jesus Christ died. So, Heavenly Father, I just pray that people, people on this call, remember, Heavenly Father, that we have direct access to you and that you are available, willing, and ready to listen to us anytime. And so we just need to call upon you. Yes, Lord, remind us that we just need to call upon you and seek your face, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I thank you and I praise your holy name and we give you all the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And so if there's anybody on the call um, who, who's who been going through the fast with us, you can um, go ahead and unmute and pray. Um, 
I'm going to give you a couple seconds. All right, so thank you everyone for being on the call. Uh, for those of you who are in the group, uh, we will be meeting tonight at 7 30. And um, when we meet tonight at 7 30, we're finishing up the book, Destroying the Spirits of Rejection, that, we're, that we've been discussing. Uh, remember, today our focus is Thanksgiving and praise and for those of you who are on the call but you have not um for those of you who are on the call but you have not been praying we've been fasting and so um that's why you know the format of the prayer is different today and it probably will continue on like this but um moving forward we just thank god and for those of you who are in the whatsapp feel free to pop into the whatsapp um share your testimony share your encouragement if the Holy Spirit has given you a word for the group, definitely feel free to um, share it. Uh, you can send it to me first if um, you're not really sure if it aligns with what we've been praying about. But um, yeah, we just thank God for today. We thank God for the opportunity to go and just thrive on his behalf. Um, you know, this is the last day of the fast. You guys are strengthened. You've made it. Um, I know it, it was a little hard in the beginning, but... You made it, and we thank God for um, just giving you the strength to do it. So definitely finish strong. Um, I will see you guys tonight. Make sure that at 6 p.m., whatever your time is, make sure you do eat something so you're not dragging on the call tonight when we're discussing our book. Um, and, yeah, I just love you all. I'm grateful, and I appreciate you all being on the call.